You love your acoustic guitar, of course you do. But if you want something with a little bit more output, a little bit more grit, you will probably most likely want an electric guitar. I'm Chris, I'm in the GIF Music Studio. Today we're gonna to be looking at what I wish I'd known when I was buying my first electric guitar. The first question, I guess, is where do I start with an electric guitar? There are literally thousands of shapes, sizes, styles out there, and it's quite hard to know where to begin. If you're unsure, a good place to start is with a true classic like a Stratocaster. Today I've got the Squire Affinity Stratocaster. It's a real budget-friendly guitar. It features two single collar pickups and a humbucker. It gives you great tonal variety when trying to find your sound, which is really, really important for when you're starting out on an electric guitar. If you're looking for a little bit more grit, a little bit more higher output, you might want to look at a guitar that has two humbuckers. Humbuckers are basically, uh, well, it's in the name, it books hum, but it can also handle a wider range of frequencies and higher output, and it's well suited for metal, uh, hard rock, gent even. Um, so you want something with a higher output, really. A good example of a beginner guitar that has humbuckers is something like an Ibanez RG series, particularly this RG41EX. So let's talk about the difference in body shapes when moving from acoustic to electric. In the acoustic world, they tend to be a lot bigger, and that's needed because the bigger the body, the bigger the sound output. Electric guitars don't necessarily need this amount of space because they've got the pickups that are translating the sound. So you'll often find that electric guitars have smaller bodies. But smaller doesn't always mean lighter. The different types of wood and materials used in the guitar can affect the guitar's weight considerably. So if you are smaller or you're playing for prolonged periods of time, you might want to consider how much it weighs. So the electric guitar does have a different feel to it. Uh, we've already covered the body shape, but there are a couple of things that are specifically different than an acoustic guitar, such as the neck profile and the string gauge. The necks on electric guitars tend to be a lot thinner, and if you've gotten used to your acoustic guitar neck, this can be a little bit odd at first. But there are a variety of different neck profiles on electric guitars, but if you want something that's a little bit more like an acoustic, you might want to look at electrics that have U-shaped profiles or deep C-shaped profiles. So staying on the neck of the guitar, the strings and the action are important factors to consider. Now the action on a guitar is the distance between the fretboard and the strings itself. On an acoustic guitar, this distance is considerably greater than it would be on an electric guitar. This generally means you don't have to press as hard on an electric guitar to get a clean note, meaning it's going to be a lot easier on the fingers. So the trick to moving to electric from acoustic is to actually soften up your playing a little bit because if you were to press a little bit too hard, you might bend the string out of tune, or you might even create some unnecessary noise like fret buzz. So how does your playing style differ from acoustic to electric? Mainly a lot of your playing will be done with your fingers and light strumming on acoustic guitar, but on electric guitar, you may need the assistance of a pick. Um, the pick will allow you to dig in a little bit better, especially when you're playing a lot of lead parts or riffs, um, because you're gonna need to create enough vibration for the pickups to pick up the strings. I usually use a plectrum that's minimum a millimeter thick or more, but playing harder can actually put your guitar out of tune, so you could use a clip on tuner from your acoustic guitar. But the added benefit of an electric guitar is that you can plug it into a tuning pedal for ease of use. <laughs> So with an electric guitar, you are going to need an amplifier. Just like guitars, there are so many different amplifiers to choose from. Um, I would personally use a small practice amplifier, something that's simplified, not too many effects on. Um, this basically just means that you can nail technique with a really clean tone. So personally, I'm using this Marshall MG10. It's super simple and really easy to use. It has four different controls. It's got two channels, one clean and one overdrive. It's really simple to use. And if you do find you want to experiment a little bit later down the line, you can always add an effects pedal to liven things up. Most amplifiers will come with a headphone jack out, allowing you to play for longer 
and also allow you to not disturb any family members or people that you live with. In addition, it has an auxiliary in, allowing you to play to your favorite backing tracks. Um, it's fully equipped for you to be practicing to your heart's content. That's it really, just a few things to consider when jumping from acoustic to electric. If you like any of the gear used today, all the links should be in the description below, as well as some links to some posts about some possible guitar choices for your first electric guitar. Thanks for watching. See ya. Mm -hmm.